I'm gonna go over lab number nine, Galileo's RAM problem. It's a very famous problem because Galileo was the first person who helped us understand the behavior of a falling body. So what happened when you draw off an object? Galileo, um, Galileo gave us uh, four hypotheses. Number one, the displacement or distance of a falling body increases, of course, quadratically, and then the speed or velocity of a falling body increases linearly, and acceleration remains constant. So these three ideas, Galileo's this high three hypotheses, is really based on the one thing, and that is when you draw a heavy object and a light object, they form at the same rate and hit the t uh, hit the ground at the same time if you drop them from the same height so that's why we respect Galileo more than anybody else in physics except Newton and Einstein of course so this is this is the lab you really need to pay attention why Galileo had to use the ramp when we know uh, he was born in the 1564 in Italy and uh, he conducted this experiment uh, 1590. Uh, he went to the rooftop of Leaning Tower of Pisa and that was the University uh, of Pisa. He was a, a physics professor and he dropped feather and hammer from the rooftop of the University of Pisa and what he observed is different than what he hypothesis. He hypothesis that hammer and feather fall at the same rate and touch the ground at the same time. But of course the feather took longer than the hammer. What Galileo did he saw I'll say the box. And, and, and David Scott, 1972, uh, proved that on the moon because on the moon there is no air, hammer and feather touch the ground at the same time. So why Galileo wasn't able to use, Galileo wasn't able to use the, 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 the dropping and collecting data is because there was no Stoffers at that time. Today we have Stoffers. We have Stoffers and we can, uh, we can collect the data. However, I'm going to do it exactly the way Galileo did. I'm going to use the sound. So I'm going to create an amp. I'm going to create an amp and the ramp will have some theta and I'm going to drop it from 0.2 meter, 0.4 meter, 0.6 meter, 0.8 meter and 1 meter and I'm going to collect the time here, time here, time here, time here. All right, and that will allow us to understand uh, how, how, why uh, the object of falling body, because this is just object of falling body. Why? Because if you increase the theta to 90 degree, then acceleration due to gravity gonna uh, approach to G, which is negative 9.8, you see? Uh, and it's easy, very easy, because object is speed up, but object is, is speed up slowly, right? Object is split up slowly. Um, for example, when you draw an object at the end of five seconds, at the end of one second, uh, the, the speed would be uh, negative 9.8. If you draw off from uh, here, which is like say uh, 11 degree, I don't know, for, uh, or 9 degree, I don't know, but we'll find out by using math, it's going to be much less than that. Maybe two, maybe two, velocity is maybe two. So it's very easier to, uh, to collect data. This ping pong ball will stay here forever because the acceleration due to gravity is zero. Now, the acceleration due to gravity is not going to be zero right now because of the angle. Okay, of if you increase the angle, then acceleration due to gravity approaches to 9.8. If the angle is 90 degree with respect to the 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 table, then of course acceleration due to gravity is 9.8 or negative 10. We are not going to use um, 90 degree, we are going to probably use mm, a little bit between 20 to 30 degree. So, I am going to create an angle. All right, so, this is enough for us. Uh, if it is uh, too much inclined, then it would be difficult for me to, uh, to, to measure the time, okay, because the ball would move very fast. How fast? For, for, for the end of 5 second, 5 meter, end of second, second, 20 meter, end of third second, 45 meter, end of fourth second, 80 meter. So, object would move really fast quadratically if you uh, if your angle is very close to 90 degree. My angle is um, not not more than 10 probably. So, it's going to be fine. I will be able to uh, collect the data. So, I'm going to release it from 20 centimeter. 40 centimeters, 60 centimeters, 80 centimeters, and 1 meter. And what we're going to do is we're going to create dt, vt, and at graph. And dt going to be quadratic, vt going to be linear, and uh, at should be uh, and has to be the the constant this speed. This speed would be more than uh, when I draw it from 80 centimeters. And 80 centimeter speed would be more than when I drop it from 60 centimeter if you take this speed over here and that's what we're going to do 
so in order to uh, uh, in order to do this, uh, we first have to find the time. Time it takes to uh, 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 to roll 20 centimeter. Time it takes to roll ping pong ball to roll 40 centimeter, and so on. All right, let's see. This is my 20 centimeter. So this is the data I collected. So let's find the velocity. Velocity is distance over times two. Why is that? Because let me prove it. So velocity is vf plus vi over 2. Also velocity is df minus di over tf minus ti. This is 0, right? And this is 0. So v is equal to vf over 2 uh, is equal to v is equal to df over tf. Now instead of vf, you can call v. v over 2 is equal to v is equal to d over t, all right? So you can say v over v equal to v. So v over 2 is equal to d over t. So you can say 2d uh, vt vt is equal to 2d so of course v is 2d over t so v is d over t times 2 and that's where it is you see over there i wrote okay good um now let's find the velocity and uh let's use the calculator do we have a calculator used to do um so what are you gonna do i'm gonna write down so point two uh point two point four eight times two uh, 0 0.4, 0 0.69 times 2, uh, 0 0.6, 0 0.84 times 2, 0 0.8, 0 0.97 times 2, 1, 1 1.08 times 2. So let's see what we get. Um, 0 0.83. 0 0.6 divided by 0 0.8. 84 times 2 divided by 0 0.97 times 2 1.6 divided by 1.08 times 2 1.9 all right so galileo said that object is speeding up how do you know he drop a rock from one centimeter above the ground and same rock from two centimeter of the ground on his hand so which one causes the more pain the one that he dropped from two centimeter above the ground causes more pain all right so that's how he know that object is speed off if you allow the object to spend more 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 and time in the air so 1.2 is bigger than 8.83 and 1.4 is bigger than 1.2 you get it so now from here we can find the acceleration acceleration all right so acceleration we can find many different ways acceleration we can find many different ways so let's find the acceleration um, d is equal to uh, vat plus half at squared so vat is zero d is equal to d is equal to this so point two point two is equal to half a and then point eight three squared so a is equal to 1.7 uh, uh, acceleration is 1.7 yeah so 1.7 so then this should be also 1.7, 1.7, 1.7, 1.7 because acceleration is constant. You can find it out. If you want to find the uh, acceleration different way, Vf is equal to Vi plus At. So for example, you want to find acceleration of this point. Okay. So Vf would be what? Vf would be uh, 1.9. So let's write 1.9 this is equal to 0 plus A. And then you have to find the time from here, 1.08 and acceleration should be 1.7 or very close uh, the velocity velocity is increases velocity increases linearly of course increases linearly and this is constant we have a quadratic vt we have a linear and at we have this so this one has to be what y is equal to x square or d is equal to half at square all right it seems like we know the a what is the a um a is 1.7 a is 1.7 so so what that would be I'll put the velocity here so d is equal to half 1.7 t squared so d is equal to what what is it ah, 7.87 uh, t squared so then y equal to 0.87 t squared all right uh, so then what is it this is y equal to 0.87 t squared y equal to 0.87 t squared and what is this one this one is this one is v is equal to 48 and then 0.69 and then 
0.84 and then 0.97 and then 1.08 okay now let's put the velocity velocity is what is it 0.83 uh 1.2 1 1.4 1 1.6 and 1.9 all right now go to stat and go to calculate uh, calculation linear because the velocity uh, versus time has to be linear and then um and then calculate So one point, um, so one point seven. So B is, um, so A is one point seven. That's great. Why? Because y equal to m x plus b. All right. So y equal to uh, one point seven x plus b is zero, of course. And then uh, y replaced by velocity, and x replaced by t. So this is that. And acceleration, we also already know that how. It is acceleration. So this is how you should be understanding the lab.